As the case drags on, it's starting to look like we are about to reach the finishing line. What is happening? But wait, are we going to settle? Who has the upper hand at the moment? And what documents are protected under DPP? Stay tuned to find out. You don't want to miss out on this. Before we get into the video, don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to enable all your notifications to our channel to keep up with all the hottest secrets in the world of XRP. Without further ado, let's dive in. A proposed regulatory framework for cryptocurrency was published by Ripple. The plan represents the business's vision for how existing financial regulatory frameworks can be used to advance innovation and enhance consumer and market protections, according to the corporation. Today, we were proud to release our vision for a real approach to cryptocurrency regulation, a framework designed to offer an immediate and pragmatic approach to cryptocurrency and digital asset regulation in the United States," Ripple explained further. The company outlined three recommendations. The best public policy outcomes can be achieved by public-private collaboration, adapting existing regulatory frameworks, and fostering crypto innovation sandboxes. The Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, of the United States has been chastised for taking a tough stance on cryptocurrency regulation. After the SEC initiated an enforcement action against cryptocurrency exchange Poloniex in August, SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce chastised her own agency for taking this approach to crypto regulation. Well. Many others have also requested additional clarity on cryptocurrency regulation from the SEC, but to no effect. Ripple isn't the only company that has proposed cryptocurrency regulation. Coinbase, a Nasdaq-listed cryptocurrency exchange, has developed a crypto framework that includes four main proposals. CEO Brian Armstrong has been meeting with authorities to persuade them that the crypto space in the United States should be governed by a single federal authority. Coinbase currently has 53 regulators in the United States alone, according to the company. Binance also advocated for worldwide crypto regulation frameworks. The exchange launched a Crypto is Evil ad campaign with 10 fundamental rights for crypto users. It's legitimate to wonder why the regulatory framework is being proposed now unless they're laying the groundwork for a post-settlement situation with the SEC. It's possible that a settlement may be reached soon, and it's understandable that Ripple wants a clear glide path for its operations to continue smoothly in the future. The timing, on the other hand, could be coincidental, given that the alphabet soup of government departments appears to be wasting time and wrangling over domains of power in relation to stablecoins and cryptos in general. Perhaps it's a quick response to Coinbase's own regulatory framework, which was published last month. Regardless, lawsuits don't endure forever, and it's a clever move by the SEC to reintroduce a tone of collaboration with public agencies a combination of existing regulations and a vision for the future. <laughs> to better comprehend crypto and digital assets, we believe regulators, policymakers, and industry leaders should share their knowledge and perspectives. To stimulate innovation and growth around these technologies in the United States, the sector needs clear rules of the road, not regulation through enforcement. The timing of this regulatory framework proposal couldn't be better for Ripple. This approach, whether intentional or not, is pushing the SEC court battle into the court of public opinion, which could force the SEC to negotiate a settlement. Many people are wondering why the cryptocurrency lawsuit of the century has been quiet for so long. Expert discovery involves minimal formal back and forth. A lot has been going on behind the scenes that will remain hidden from the public for a while longer. In the most recent development in the XRP case, both parties joined forces to request an extension on one of the expert deposition deadlines. The deadline for expert discovery is presently set for January 14, 2022. However, due to scheduling issues between numerous experts and the counsel responsible for those depositions, the parties have asked the court to extend the deadline to January 19, 2022, or three business days after the current end of expert discovery. Both parties have said that they have disclosed a total of 16 expert witnesses in accordance with the previous deadline. Additionally, 15 of the 16 experts' depositions have either been completed or are slated to be completed by the previous date. The parties have made a good-faith request for this extension. 
They've also determined that, due to the urgency of the situation, this specific delay will have no impact on other case deadlines. While the XRP litigation was on track, with all deadlines met, the prior news came as either a shock or a relief to those involved in the case, as well as those who may be impacted by the ruling. In the defendant's motion to compel discovery, both parties submitted supplemental arguments on deliberative process privilege, or DPP, citing the Second Circuit's judgment in Natural Resources Defense Council versus EPA, NRDC. It's especially alarming for Ripple and the XRP community because the NRDC case's ruling has reconfigured the scope of DPP, reopening the DPP dispute in the XRP lawsuit yet again. This may result in more adjustments in the SEC's favor and against the defendants in particular, regarding the materials presented for the in-camera examination. The SEC is claiming DPP protection because, according to the NRDC ruling, the agency isn't needed to link its records to a single, discrete decision to seek DPP protection. Instead of confining it to a single decision, the SEC has the authority to designate a larger decision-making process to which the data pertain. Ripple, on the other hand, has disputed the SEC's position, claiming that the SEC never considered launching a policy process to decide whether or not to regulate digital assets as securities. As a result, the defendants argue that the plaintiff failed to demonstrate any definable judgment or decision-making in the first place, rendering the SEC ineligible for protection under the DPP's expanded scope. Proponents and observers alike are optimistic as a result of Ripple's response. Analysts believe Ripple is on the verge of winning the SEC lawsuit. The price of XRP is projected to rise as a result of Ripple's victory. I am looking for some form of a resolution from the Ripple case, and the SEC is more on trial than Ripple is," says Greg Kidd, CEO of Global ID. Kidd is optimistic about Ripple's victory, believing that the SEC has yet to specify what constitutes security. YouTuber and cryptocurrency analyst at BitBoy Crypto believes that XRP is currently undervalued. The analyst believes the XRP price will continue to rise and has set a $2 price objective for the altcoin. This year, Ripple's XRP coin has seen a slew of unfavorable headlines, including a Securities and Exchange Commission SEC lawsuit that seeks to reclassify XRP as security. Analysts and industry insiders, on the other hand, have recently begun to adopt a positive view of the token's risk and reward as anticipation grows that the case could be resolved quickly. The price of XRP is on the verge of collapsing further as Ripple approaches a vital line of support. If momentum does not move to the upside, slicing below the important line of defense might result in the token plummeting 38% to $0.49. Cents. On the daily chart, the XRP price has established a parallel channel pattern as the cryptocurrency has continued to consolidate. At $0.80, cents, Ripple is approaching the lower boundary of the ruling technical pattern, which serves as important support. If the token falls below the aforementioned line of defense, it may suffer a significant drop in value. The current chart pattern shows a 38% drop from the downside trend line, implying a $0.49 cents bearish target. Before the bears attempt to drive prices down to the pessimistic objective, the XRP price will find many zones of support. Ripple's second line of defense will be the $0.76 cent low on August 9. Additional support will occur at the multi-month ascending support trend line at $0.60, cents, then at the July 12 high of $0.65. Cents. Before Ripple reaches the parallel channel's forecasted bearish goal, an increase in selling pressure could send XRP price down to the June 25 low of $0.58, cents, then to the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level of $0.55. Cents. Ripple may be able to nullify the negative forecast by regaining higher levels starting with the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level at $0.85 cents, if XRP price can stay above the lower limit of the ruling technical pattern at $0.80. Cents. If there is a surge in purchase orders, the 21-day simple moving average SMA, at $0.93 cents may be targeted, followed by the 200-day SMA at $0.95. Cents. The center limit of the parallel channel at $1.02 will be the first target, followed by the 50% retracement level at $1.06, which intersects with the 50-day and 100-day SMA. With this, we have come to an end. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered as financial advice. 
We all know that the crypto market is highly volatile, and by the time you watch this video, the prices would have changed to a whole new level. So, all the financial decisions should be made after doing your wide-spectrum research. What are your thoughts on Ripple's proposed cryptocurrency regulation? Will they settle? Make sure that you like this video, comment down your thoughts regarding this video, and also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated about the latest crypto news.